Oh, seven star citizens, X Wings X speaking, and this is Planetary Prospector Mining in EP2 323. Credits for pretty much all of my mining knowledge goes to three guys from our org from the SSLF, which are our mining cracks. This is the only dong, Chocolal Dandy, and Magnus Lupus. Pretty much everything I know I learned from them while hanging out in their moles or adding support, being support with the prospector here. So let's see what the prospector can do in 323. Let's get into it and over to Arc L2. The loadout that I am using is the Helix 1 plus a Rieger 3 and the Focus 3 module on it, which makes the most powerful build you can currently do on the prospector using passives. Of course, you could add searches or anything to enhance even more power, but with the Helix, you have a lot of punch, and with this build, you crack rocks up to 15, sometimes 16K, depending as well on the foundational material as eg tungsten it has a way bigger density so it's way harder to crack as the foundational material than other things on top of course there are easier builds to play this is definitely an advanced build to play with so you need experience you need how to handle um, the power of your mining laser in order to do that because you the helix is as well the one which has the shortest reach so you need to go very close to the rocks and if you blow them you might lose your saddlebags and all your materials so you don't want to do that there are easier builds to go for to start with one could be the impact one plus a rigor c3 and a focus three which gives you a nice starting point and you can crack lasers up to seven maybe eight k's with that one there is an even simpler build which would be the hofsteed one and with a stampede a module on it the link below you'll find the universal item finder to see where you are getting those lasers and modules but you crack solo maybe rocks around four to five k with that which is both possible on lyria lyria is a very nice prospector planet for impact or the half steed variants on the loadouts all right scanning go into scanning modes use tap for ping and see what you get and follow them through the rs signature um yeah there there are things out what you can do what is good i usually try to go to very high ones 10ks plus to find good rocks in it and as you see as you get closer to your approach, we don't have those blue signs anymore. There are more subtle white arrows that point to the rocks. You change to the mining um, laser and then you can start scan scanning them and see the mass and what's in it. So as I'm really testing here, I'm not that much of mining. I don't pick always the best thing things out here or I scoop up little stuff like that, which you definitely would do. The recommendation is, if you start cracking rocks, to crack those who have tier one materials in it, and you wanna have at least 40% of the material that you're actually gathering. So you wanna go out, you gather for, of course, Continuum, Baxalite, Tyranite, and Gold. So these are the four materials you want to look for and it needs to have at least 40 percent of one of these tier one materials in the rock because otherwise they don't crack equally and you have a lot of different cracks with maybe 20 to 30 percent of it and a lot of other materials you have together on the side which is on a prospector really an issue because you bring 30 seu 
and if you add the um, mole saddlebags on it we are out with 48 su which is a lot more which is actually worth doing if you can do it i haven't tried it in 323 EPTU here whether this is possible because I don't have a mole um, I don't own a mole personally um, my fellows do and uh, so that's why I don't need a, a mole as well because a mole is an awesome team ship and I love to get on it and play with my fellows um, that as well know a lot more about the mining than I do and I'm just crewing their ships but you just saw the crack that I was making here you saw that um, it was a Baxalite um, um, rock with about 44% baxalite in it um, when it was whole and now you see I have um, pieces of 89%, 40%, 60% of baxalite to take out of here which makes a lot more sense to actually gather on a ship that has such a little cargo space like the prospector to be around and to scoop up what you want to have. So. I recommend focusing with a prospector on planetary mining only on rocks that have 40% plus of the tier 1 that you want to gather. And the other thing that I'm actually recommending is with a with a helix build you're better off over in Walla to gather your rocks for solo mining because there will be more rocks in the range of 8 to 12k mass well i found more of those than on lyria lyria is very good between 2 and 6k um, mass and yeah you need different lasers for different things the downside of the helix is definitely that you can't go as close and his minimum charge is 20 percent and in the combination of this you need to fly out of the optimal zone to reduce your um, strength of the laser every now and then because otherwise you just blow the stuff up at an instant this comes as well if you have to do sub cracks um, that can be challenging because the range is very short so choose the right rocks for the right loadouts as you just see on that rock the moving back and forth with the ship as well you're seeing how far out i actually am from the optimal zone to be able to do this minimal crack that I want to do there. Um, it is possible. And as well, you see, it's 45% gold. Definitely worth to go for. And I like the challenges in the end. That what's mining um, makes so fun because it is a very sophisticated profession with a lot of different things and a, and, and a broadness of how you can do and how you can build your things. So you see, it's totally possible um, to mine on a on a millimeter size of a optimal charge window you can do that with a helix and you see the Riga c3 and the focus 3 module some hints and tricks when it comes to scanning i spoke to the bit watch rs signature i'm actually looking for usually 10k plus um and as further away those signatures are, it's like 10 kilometers, 12 kilometers, usually there is a higher chance that those are actually um, boulders, so rocks you want to go for and want to see for. When they appear in less than 5 kilometer radius, there is a higher chance, it's not always, but a higher chance that those are actually gems for ROC mining. The same thing to identify ROC mining gems fast when you are close to 500 meters to the marker of your scan and no rock signs have shown up yet. You can be very, very certain that it is a gem spot and not a rock spot. Of course, you can um, learn by heart all the RS signatures and the how you say the digits that indicate that this is a gem and not a um another a rock not a rock field um this used to be possible back in 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 the early day earlier days of mining i remember that because you had just had about three or four signatures to remember to actually 
being able to discern that just by the RS signature. This is not anymore the case. It has got more sophisticated and yeah, I know how to do math and calculate, but I'm not as good to um, calculate that fast on what signature it actually will be because yeah, every kind of material has a different signature based on their density and so on. So this is a look at to prospector planetary mining in EPTU 323 and what we will get for I think it's worth doing again it's not anymore as it used to be before 318 before the nerf in 319 but it's still a good thing and you can easily do between 200 and 400 thousand per hour and not only that because it's a very very enjoyable game loop and a profession and it gives you a good basic skills that you can join up with fellows who have a mole and go mining together which is of course a lot more lucrative when four people go out there with way more powerful lasers to crack way bigger rocks and enjoy the time together so i hope this video was helpful if you like it please like it subscribe share and add in the comments if you want to add something i'm gladly and i always learn more or clarify things. 07 Star Citizen, we see us out in the worst.